What's up gamers? I'm here to review the brand new game by Domble Farm Software. The excellent, talented people behind such video game classics as Swamp and Swamp 2. Alright, so let's open this, uh, ooh, that's being loaded for a second, it's pretty hot. <laughs> let's take a look at this, uh, this package here. Okay, it looks like we have, uh, nice little interior art, uh, of a swamp. Forgot to mention, this is Swamp 3. Um, prepare to Swamp Edition, prepare to receive a Yeast Infection Edition. Um, that's a low-flying plane. Hello. It looks like a military plane up there. You can't really see it. It has the lights a bit. It's about it. Um, there's an Air Force base near here, so we see those sometimes. It's interesting. Um, anyway, back to Swamp 3. Prepared Swamp Edition. Um, so this interior art spread of... Louisiana is pretty hot, I gotta say. Um, I've been to Louisiana myself. This is pretty true to uh, how it be. And let's see. Oh, here's the little uh, switch cartridge. It's uh, awfully tiny. Does it uh, taste better like all the other ones? No, actually, this one has a slight uh, umami to it. Stepping up the game, Nintendo. Very nice. I incorporate this into my ramen next time. Um, so, no instruction booklet, it would appear. Um, so, I'm not going to be amazing with the uh, controls of Swamp 3 prepared to Swamp Edition. Um, and I'm not going to get that exclusive titty art. But, and this is a big butt. Haha! <laughs> Big butt. Ooh. Um. I am somewhat of an expert of the previous two Swamp installments. Um. In fact, I have at one point held the speedrun record for Swamp 2. Um. Pre-patch, of course. You know, when they edited the Swamp to be slightly more acidic. Um, but before then, I was a, I, uh, for about a couple weeks, I held the speedrun record, so, you know, I would say I'm pretty competent when it comes to Swamp play. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's pop this bad boy in, and, um, see what Swamp 3 is all about. Okay, so not impressed by the initial um, pre-rendered cutscene here as we're rolling over the swamp. As um, See, the previous installment, of course, um, took place in Florida. And this one is Louisiana, as we had mentioned earlier. Um, and so the environment would be a little different. We're gonna have a little less crocodile, a little less manatee. Um, and we are going to have a little bit more crayfish, which I think is a great new direction for the game series. Um, yeah, and as you can see, we got, we got a little, little snip, snippy crawdads down there. Um, making me crave some of that gumbo, some of that po' boy, some of that, um, gumbo with shrimp in it. So, as, as we've come to love and expect from the series, um, it throws us right into the game. So, as you can see, we are... Right now, it looks to be close to Baton Rouge. Um, 
not quite as swampy, and of course it gets swampier as you progress. Um, in fact, this is more of like a uh, flat marshland almost, not quite swamp, as uh, you will come to see. I did uh, take a look at some of the uh, Coro Coro leaks um, prior to this game coming out. I know, I know, spoiling myself just a little bit, but... Um, you know, I, 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 for all the uh, swamp tubers out there, I just had to get uh, be one of the first to uh, get all this information um, digested and presented to you in a uh, format like this. Um, so, but you know, nothing you would expect nothing less from a pro swamper like me. So that being said, let's just uh, let's just jump into it. Um, as you can see, we uh, are starting off this game with uh, a, one of the brand new uh, loadouts that are now available in this, um... Okay, it's not a <laughs> Starting off with one of the brand new loadouts in this, um, um installment of the trilogy. Um, where we will actually have a uh, stick, you know. Usually, I I am a um, I'm a big twig kind of player. Um, some people prefer a lot of people prefer moss. I think it's kind of overpowered and a little overrated, you know. Um, I'm a classic stick player. Um, have been since the launch of Swamp One, 1997, um, for the Nintendo Swamp Cube. But you know, I think I'm going to make my stat distribution from the from the get go as we're selecting it here just a little bit different. Um, so currently, what I have. Um, what I'm going for right now, at least, from what I've gathered is possible, is I'm going to, um, try to rush the, uh, Jambalaya build, um, and as such, I, it's going to require a lot of stick outright, you know, um, especially for cooking that Jambalaya, because, you, you know, you need, you need uh, wood to get the fire started. Um, and if we can rush the fire, that means we can create the, um, the, uh, metal skillet, the pot, the wok, whatever you may want to use for your various Cajun stews and meals. Um, and of course using this stick before we even use it for firewood, we're actually going to, real quick, you see here, right by the uh, base of this tree, we are able to dig for truffles, like the little piggies we are. Um, and that does it for today's episode, but tune in for part two uh, tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Um, mountain time. As you know, I am not Louisiana native, I'm actually from Calgary, so tune in tomorrow for the hit installment. Um, most Swamp Tubers don't even have one out by tomorrow probably, but you know, you know, it's me, your boy, supplying you epic gamers with your epic Swamp gameplay. That's all for today. Peace, epic bro gamer hoes all up in my swamp. Oh.